guys, this is just a disclaimer before the video. If you are a friend of mine that has Minecraft, that plays this, and, um, nah, that plays it and stuff, um, I suggest you invite me to a party if I'm online, and I will, and ask me if you can see the world. If you do not have Minecraft, um, you are welcome to watch it, and even if you uh, do have Minecraft and you are friends with me on PS4, um, it is your choice, and if it is your choice if you want to watch this or not. That's just what I wanted to say. Hey everybody, it's Cameron, and as you can see, we are doing something from the title. Um, we, um, so I created this little horror kind of map thing, and, and I'm actually working on one right now, it's in a Satan Asylum, and me and Josh are going to do that, and once, after me and Josh do that, um, me and King Mob are going to explain it and show all, all the achievements that you can get in it. This one doesn't have any achievements, it's just the game. So, let's get started. Welcome to start, go through the door. So, we open the door and we find ourselves here. What is this place? Let's explore. Seems we need a lever. Wonder where we can find it. Then we have a crafting table. What can I use like this? We go up a level. Nothing here. Next floor. We come up here, but there's nothing here. We can't get up because it's missing a stair. Seems like we need something. There's a little fire. If we look through, there is a chest we can grab. With oak wood stairs, I should probably do this. So now that that's done, I can go up here. Cobwebs, I hate those. Then fire. Let me get a fire axe here that we can grab. And we can put out the fire with. Also, survival is adventure. Let's keep some light so no mobs spawn. Next room. What the? Well, what do I do? Here we have, ooh, a chest. I will take all of its contents. Then we have an iron sword and chain armor. Put those on to defend ourselves against any mobs that, that approach us. Next we go onto this little bridge, and it says, all right, now what? We go up here, and we're brought with the choice. Mm. All right, forest or the swamp? I will go the swamp first because of all the enemies that lie in it. So, let's... Next we go to the forest, or mattering on which way you took, matter is mattering on how the outcome goes, so, go through the forest now, and so 
says, alright, now that I'm here, let's look for stuff. And we have, and this is, what's this? A chest? Which contains cobblestone. Now we head back right to the little area, or, eh, not little area, sorry about that. We go over to the tower, I like to call it, but it's actually this little house thing. And we can use the, the stick and the cobblestone to create a lever where we can go in under the little area. As you can see, I have a lever. Now we can go down. If we go down, um, I think I missed a sign, but eventually we find a drop. So we have to be careful, and we have to bounce on the slime. Next we have to bounce on the next slime, and we have a choice after we get to this next one. It's either go the risky road or the safe path. I'm going the safe path because I do not want to die. So as you can see, there's the risky road. Just go behind this lava. Still a little dangerous, but it's safe. Jump down here. And we go up to the light. I am going to fix this later on one day to make it look like it actually can, does continue. And you jump and you fall down here. Oh. Uh, you saw nothing, guys. But what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to bounce up. I crouched and and I died. So this is actually a perfect chance for us to go to the risky path, which apparently contains skeleton. the risk. What? You're another bumper in a wall. What? We can go to the pool. And that's my little, my little map. I'm making a bigger one. As I said, the asylum. And so that was this map. I hope you all, all you guys enjoyed. So make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!